We're live. And Uga fucking Uga cunts. Sorry for the delay, but welcome back to the best show on the cunt stream. I am Mark, and with me today is uh, the lovely Trippy Poop. Yep, that's damn straight. And Leaf. Hello. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We have Leaf with us today. Okay, so pay attention to the leaf and don't even don't even bring up the fact that you told me my nudes were sexier than hers. Yeah, I fucking covered my dick with a damn Kermit. I, I said you had a bigger animal, dick than and her. You won't I didn't even... say yours were sexier than hers. Yes, you did. You were like, how in the hell can I see the tip of your dick from behind that Kermit doll? <laughs> and I was like, because it, 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 you, you don't even tell people about it. Why are you so you're mean right, to me, Mark? Right. I should stop talking about it. Why, why are you so mean to me, Mark? You ask <laughs> for nudes, I send them, and then you don't like them. Hey, I like <clears> all <throat> of them, all right? Jesus. Especially the ones that weren't you. Yeah, usually they're not. <laughs> but uh, hi, Leaf. How are you doing today? What's hey, our hey. show topic, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> are, well, I want, I want to say hi to Leaf and just... Be like, you hey, did, like how you doing, Leaf? Cool. Are you having a good day, Leaf? <laughs> we didn't bother you, did we, Leaf? Uh, can we say hello you know, to our guest? Why are you so thirsty for internet girls, man? You're so <laughs> thirsty <laughs> for internet girls? She's a little young for me. I only hit on people I don't know. Well, I thought you didn't know her. The fuck? <laughs> we know each other now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But... But uh, yeah, no. Even uh, even I have a limit. She is a little bit too young for me. Yeah, but if she was a you know a Sailor Moon fan, you'd be all up over all over her. How you'd do you know she's not a Sailor Moon fan? I don't know. I know you are. Did you just assume her hentai, bro. <laughs> oh, and and to answer your question, anti hero also like he streams with me a lot, and his new name is Hentai Hero. Hentai Hero. Okay. Yeah. Hentai hero. Okay, Hentai so today, hero. welcome to uh, Cringe of Yesteryear. We're going way yesteryear today, and we are talking about the Brady Bunch. And I watched a whole hell of a lot of Brady Bunch back in the day when I was a kid. We used to have this little thing called Nick at Night. Yep, Nick at middle of the day. Uh huh. It was it was an all day thing. It was called Nick at Night, and it just fucking played oh, no. all sorts of old shows. Yeah. It was all night. It was from like, I want to say like eight or nine p.m. all the way through to like six thirty in the morning. It was kind of right. like how Adult Swim works, but they just used to show uh, older sitcoms. Mm -hmm. That's where and I fell in love with Mr. Ed. And Dude, I knew I was getting old when uh, Nick at Night started showing Family Matters. I was like, oh, ah, shit. Did they oh, yeah, they started Nick showing Family Matters and stuff. Uh, I don't know, actually. Now, the last thing I saw on Nick at Night was the George Lopez show. It seemed like kind of a format, honestly. Actually, I like George <laughs> Lopez, but I didn't like his show. <clears throat> yeah. He's from Albuquerque. He's from New Mexico, where I'm from. Albuquerque, 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 Albuquerque. You ever heard of the Weird Al song? Of course. Albuquerque? Yeah. In Albuquerque. And Mark got kicked off the stream for singing. Oh, no. I, I have, uh, I like if uh, Fergie and an angel had a baby, that would be my voice. Sure. I mean, are you calling my mom a liar? <laughs> just, just, just stick to your day job, Mark. Uh, are you calling my mom a liar? Maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, it's fucking on. I don't know if we can Brady bunch don't this fucking shit. Fucking on. What? I don't know if we can get this right in half an hour. Me neither. Like a episode. I don't remember any of the stuff I watched. I mean, I I totally. Oh, it. man, I remember all the stuff except for any of the stuff. Okay. Well, anybody who was uh, ever born under a rock or is Leaf Sage or younger um, might not know what the Brady Bunch is. Listen, and I know what it is. I just don't know much about it. All right. Well, <clears throat> it's the story of a lovely lady. And uh, oh, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, it was a, a blonde. She was living with three kids of her own. Yeah, she was. She had yeah. three kids of her own. And they had uh, 
golden curls like their mother. So they were all blonde. Uh, they, and, were uh, they were all alone. Do, 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 do. They were all alone. It was very sad. It was a very sad situation. But luckily, um, there was this fella. Um, he okay, also yeah. had three boys of his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, don't stop me if you've heard it before. But uh, don't yeah. stop him. Well, don't um, stop don't there's stop they one day the lady met the fella. And uh, they kind of, you know, she was kind of a whore. So she gave it up right away. And he was like, this is too good to pass up. So they had to get married. And uh, now um, all the kids are living under the same roof. And uh, you got three boys, three girls, and uh, the best person in the entire house, which was Alice the nanny. And that's the show. <laughs> it's about a step. It was the first step family show on TV. Doesn't really was, remotely <clears throat> interesting, but okay. Oh, it wasn't. But you know what? It was better than it was better than fucking uh, Full House. It was way better than Full House. I actually like Full House. Sucks. Show. It sucks. Uh, Pay attention and tell me if any of those jokes are actually funny. Next time you watch it, especially if it's like the re the rebirth of that show. You know what, when you go back and watch both side by side, yes, it's better than Full House. But how dare you, sir? Full House was my favorite show on TV. That's because you wanted to stick your butt in DJ. I mean, stick your dick in DJ's butt. I I said that wrong. Back in the day, yeah. But uh, nowadays, have you seen Stephanie? Jesus Christ. The big ass fake tits she's got. I don't know if they're fake, man. Pretty fucking sure. Uh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so um, Brady Bunch, it was like the most wholesome show on TV. It was the first step. It was the first show on TV with a step family, step brothers and sisters and stuff. But uh, they never really they never really brought it up. It was it was such a wholesome TV, like nobody lots ever swore. Lots and lots and lots of butt stuff going on in that house. Yeah, there's lots of butt stuff. Lots of butt stuff. Um, I mean, just like you said, everything ends. It was one of those, everything gets wrapped up in 30 minutes and everything's all good. And it was... Well, see, when I said that, we were live, but we were invisible. Oh, that's right. We were invisible. <laughs> we were invisible. By the way, did we ever figure out why we were invisible? It was weird. We did like Google five podcast. minutes of the show and then realized that there's no fucking show. <laughs> yeah, this time I got the notification and everything and the watch page works and all those pretty people out there are asking you to stop singing the theme song or whatever you were doing. And yeah. I think you're misreading those. Uh, you got Outlaw Bear Dog saying the whole thinks she's funny. So... <laughs> 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 Anti hero says we're only related on television, Daddy. <laughs> well, that's kind of what we're getting into a little bit. See, that's because, uh, because as wholesome <laughs> and as nice and as uh entertaining as the show was, um, it was a show. And behind the scenes, real life happened, and real life is dirty. That's why it's pretty awesome. That's your pit. No, I'm just kidding. Go on. Oh, well, uh, I'm, I'm just hoping you... Uh, I would have researched uh, had I known what the topic was. Well, I, I mean, me too. I, I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, that's another thing. I warned everybody in the last live stream we did that never showed up. But uh, it's a, it's a all of a sudden topic that uh, I, I knew about, but... Uh, uh, some some things happened and we had to uh, come up with a topic on the fly. And uh, this is what we came up with. I hope you guys you guys better enjoy it. Or else I'll exactly. come for you. <laughs> I'm not laughing right. sadistically. Shut up, Mark. No. <laughs> I might be. Who knows? I can't shut up. You can't shut me up. Don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Mm-hmm. Err, err. But uh so you said that there was lots of drug use and adult activities coming out of the people that were on the show. 
right? Well, let's uh, let's start off with the adult activities. Adult That's activities. Right. Well, uh, okay. First of all, Trippy, you've seen the show. What did you think of the show? Okay, when it comes to that show, it was one of those that my mom would put on, and like I, I would watch it sometimes. And I usually, I mean, it's all right. You can get into it and have a little bit of a little bit of a fun time, I suppose. But it's just not something that I'll watch on my own, you know? Not that it's boring, but it's really boring. Well, granted, it is really boring. <laughs> well, it's only boring because, like, we were, like, you were getting into a minute ago. Every time that they had a problem, it was always solved by the end of the episode, unless it was a two parter. Right. You know? <laughs> and here's the problem with watching old movies and old shows because yeah. as much as you can appreciate the acting or the um ingenious things that they did uh yes you might watch a movie and say like this is the first time they were able to utilize like this strategy like uh like this is the, the like the for example the matrix was the first one to use that like 360 camera thing and then everything <laughs> after that copied it Right. Matrix was original, but you watch it now and it's like you kind of laugh at how silly it is and shit like that. But uh, I mean, even more so because this was the 70s. I mean, at the time it was groundbreaking, like people had never seen anything like it. It was uh, it, it became not just a, like a TV sitcom, but it was a music show. It was a variety show. Like they went on tour, um, mm -hmm. they were on for thirty yeah. years. So I mean, at the time, wait, what? They weren't yeah. on for thirty years. They, oh, um, seriously? I, I want to look that up again. Maybe oh. I missed. <laughs> seriously? But that well, sounds like it just kind of caught me off guard. Like a long time. But well, okay, maybe no. The show wasn't on for thirty years, but I mean, they did make movies in the fucking nineties. They made. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, so it's still continuing on. And I remember uh, a quote from one of the like behind the scenes on the movie. All right. Uh, one of the dudes, he was like, the, he goes, the Brady, the Brady Bunch was a great show, and what's gonna replace the Brady Bunch in the future? I'll tell you what, the Brady Bunch. That's what. And I'm like, oh, that that sounds like a statement you shouldn't make. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the. I remember the Brady Bunch movie and I thought it was like, yeah, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. But at the yeah. time I thought it was really clever because they pulled the Brady Bunch from the seventies and put them in a nineties situation. Like the Brady Bunch was exactly like they were in the show, but everyone but around the them, like they walked outside their house and it was like normal. Like you remember that part where, uh, what was the older kid's name? Uh, older Greg. older son yeah i guess greg yeah greg. i get him mixed up because there's so many of them but yeah he he was driving like to school or whatever and the fucking burglar came out and and went up to his window and goes this is a car jack and he goes this is a car <laughs> greg he goes my name that was the that was peter that was the middle kid oh yeah yeah i'm like damn how retarded can you get <laughs> right, because well, they don't understand. The joke is, oh, I don't understand '90s slang. Right. Like, <laughs> uh, but uh, so I mean, that was kind of I, that was. I never cared about the Brady Bunch until that movie came out, and as a kid, I liked the movie because of that joke. They pulled this '70s family, this sitcom family, and put them in a situation where people were like. Hi, neighbor, and they'd be like, "Fuck off!" Mm -hmm. Like shit you'd never s see in the show. Yeah. So then I started watching it on Nick at Night because back in the day you also didn't have uh, a thousand channels on your television. Yeah, we had a channel called TV Guide, but I, I didn't get that shit until I was in like high school. <clears throat> you didn't have the TV. Yeah, guide why, why would you need a TV Guide when you only have like nine channels on your television? Yeah, you could have a TV Guide uh, <laughs> book though. Yeah, back then. Yeah. Well, so Leaf, um, so. I, I got a question for you. You you say you barely know the show, but what do you know? 
I want to get a baseline reading for you. I think she mentioned knowing something about a meme. If she's on mute again, you got to look before you address people, Mark. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm giving her. Crashed. What? I said I wasn't on mute. My phone crashed. Oh, shit. Oh, well, no. it showed up. Um, yeah. It showed that you were on mute. So uh, that's that's why I done did said it. Huh? Okay. So, yeah. You mentioned something about a, a Jan meme. The Hey Jan meme. The hey, Jan. Hey, Jan meme. What, what is it? Yes. Explain it. I don't know. The little blonde girl that was just like, or no, not Hey, Jan. Sure, Jan. She was just like, Sure, Jan. That's, that's oh, like, okay. Like, hey. Sure, Jan. That, that makes that makes more sense. I remember Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You remember yeah. that one? You ever hear that one, Leaf? No, I don't know. <laughs> That's because. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're so young. It's so adorable. I All right. At, I looked at the chat. Okay. Damn, I love. <laughs> uh, Antihero says, "My girlfriend just heard Lee for the first time." <laughs> Here's a quote: "She sounds like she's 12." That, that's what his girlfriend said, I guess. <laughs> right. Well, uh, yeah, hi, everybody in the chat. I just wanted to say hello. What's up, Will? Mal. Got another quote. Me, Mal. Like an yeah, annoying God here. I love Godfather. <laughs> Dude, he's one of my favorite fucking people. It fucking anti heroes says that she said, like an annoying 12 year old, that I want to backhand, like my sister. Oh, Jesus. no. Nobody, back, nobody backhand. <laughs> Leaf may Leaf may sound like she's twelve, but she will fuck. <laughs> I think Leaf can hear this shit and should be able to laugh about it. I'd hope. It's right. the internet after all. <laughs> What's up, Red? <laughs> Everyone's calling me Riley. You can call me Riley. I don't mind, even though I'm as happy as happy. <laughs> okay. Well, Leaf is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? The show is being ruined, Trippy, and you are sitting over here laughing. I had a feeling some shit like this was going to happen. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? <laughs> I am laughing, but I... Uh, I'm not doing I it to be rude. I can't control it. It's a bodily function to laugh hard at someone else's misfortune. I what are you doing? I know. It's <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the Brady Bunch. Let's start off with the um, incest. <laughs> I'm air quoting. You can't see me, but I'm air quoting incest. Because uh, it's not really incest when they're not your actual family. I don't know if you knew that. But uh, uh, a lot of them kids got it on. <laughs> yeah, in real life they did. Uh, uh, Marsha and and Greg. Well, that's just uh, one. Well, yeah, but that was like a it was a well known situation. Yeah, that's that's more along the lines of like the scandal. Like you have right. these kids that turn from like sixteen to fucking or from like however like fourteen to twenty. In the space of their show, or twenty-two, well, it should be somewhere around in there, I suppose. I mean, they're growing up together, and they got no friends, no, no one else their age except for themselves. So, yeah, they kind of messed around with each other a little bit. And so, the most dull one is uh, Marsha Brady and Greg Brady. Um, by the way, that's uh, Barry. What, what's his name? Barry. In real life, Barry was something. Now I have to I look it up. Remember, actually, sorry, that one I just don't remember. Uh, I usually well, don't remember actors' real names. <laughs> I, I do know. I do know that Marsha was Marie McCormick. I do know that one. Um, and uh, Susan Olsen played Cindy. I don't know all their names, but uh, I think because I just heard it. Uh, the the. Guy who played the dad's name was like Robert something. See how quick, how good I am at remembering stuff, man. You were so good, Barry Williams. That was Greg Brady. Yeah, so Barry Williams and oh. 
Maureen Mc, uh, Mc, uh, McCormick. McCormick. Mc hi, Mc uh, stick it in her honey, go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they totally bombed. But not just Maureen. Okay, so Greg Brady, uh, Barry, when he was 16, when the show was going on, had a giant boner for uh, Mrs. Brady. Fucking his mom, Florence Henderson. Um, That's her and, name. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Florence Henderson uh, played the mom. Well, I was watching videos on it before we went because it was such a, you know, late topic or whatever. And uh, my mom had walked past and I'm like, yeah, we're going to do a show on this. And she's like, oh, the Brady Bunch. She's like, that should be fun. And I'm like, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, I mean, like you think the Bra you hear the Brady Bunch and you're like yawn, but some crazy shit happened. Some crazy shit happened behind the scenes on that show. Well, in Columbus, sir. Yeah. So, so yeah, the uh, the 16 year old uh, wanted to bang the mom, and uh, apparently they actually went out on a date. And this woman's 20 years older than him. So uh, just uh, imagine how well that would go in today's culture. Yeah, I mean, it was a big, it was kind of a big deal back then. Like it made like headlines and shit back then. Wait, and, who? Uh, uh, friend Trisha? No, not friend. What the fuck? The mom and uh, Bobby? Who? Did you say friend Drescher? Yes. That's why I said no. Never mind. And I asked who? who who's <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up what fuckers? What's, what's up? Uh, long time no see. How you been? This Good. nigga right here. I made someone cry. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I you don't want to hear about your sex life. Well, actually, we kind of do. So <sighs> why? So what about the pr Brady Bunch? And the movies we're, we're, were great, by the way, because. They were funny. The movies, they the were just first making one was fun amazing. of the, the second one was a piece of shit. I don't care. They're funny. Like I said, I like how um, whoever it was that was working on the film said that, you know, the Brady Bunch was going to replace the Brady Bunch on TV. He was like, I could tell you that much, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> he just knew I it. Mean, it kind of did because it spawned, like, I mean, all the shows I did grow up with, I mean, wouldn't it be around without the Brady Bunch formula? I mean, I the TGIF, right, yeah. Family Matters, fucking step-by-step, uh, day by day. Boy Meets World, fucking Full House, all that shit. Like, I, I mean, Boy they Meets all spawned from the Brady Bunch. I did. I loved Boy Meets World. That was, like, my favorite shit, man. Boy Meets World is gay. Yeah. Back when I was hey, watching hey, it. Man, you talk about gay. my man Savage like that. His last name is Savage. Yeah, he'll... he'll, he'll Not he'll the good Savage. You. He'll but he's an okay savage. savage. He's still a savage. Yeah, my mom watched that other show, the, the Wonder Years. That's what my mom watched when she was uh, watching. Yeah, I with the yeah, other savage. I was really yeah. young when I was on. I remember my older sisters watched his that. Name? Was his name Fred Savage? Or was it? That was Fred Savage. Yeah, and Boy Meets World was Ben Savage, yeah. and they're both in. Little Monsters with Howie Mandel, which is a great fucking movie. And Daniel Stern's in that one, too. Oh, boy. Yeah. Boom. Movie knowledge. All right. None of which but I yes, have. The, Brady Bunch, the first Brady Bunch movie, um, although you rewatch it now and it and it's really bad, especially I still really like it just because all the jokes in it are um, instead of corny 70s jokes, they're like They'll make the corny 70s wait, jokes. Wait, and wait, 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 how wait. Normal people would react to it. It was a lot of fish out of water shit. What were we going to say out well? Hey, Leaf. If you're if you want to come back in here and actually say it to me, then I suggest you do it. Maybe I don't know. Are she put yeah, she she in here and then talk to shit. Bear live. dog can fuck a cow. Well, I'm sure she can. She's better, got a I mean, it's better than fucking you, man. She's got a huge cock. Rather have the cow. Yeah. <laughs> well, huge cock. I've heard about it. 
<laughs> you have a bigger cock, Trippy. That's all I said, remember? No, you, you said I had a big one. You didn't say it was bigger than I was. Hers is like oh, in the well, foot. No, Jesus, fuck. God, she's got at don't, least a couple of feet. Of like when she's got a heart on, she finds it hard to stand. It's I think she finds it easier to stand. She can just, you know. Well, it's like a kickstand, but you have to actually be able to stand up first. Yeah, she can relax a little bit. She needs to because she can't support all the blood in her legs <laughs> and her massive member. Like the real life mini me, except for she's regular size. And it's like a baby's arm holding an apple. I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, okay. So there was also the uh, the thing where uh, Bobby Brady, the youngest of them, and the and Cindy Brady, the youngest of the girls, um, they were okay. How do I put this? Bobby Brady really, really like was in love with Cindy Brady. I'm not going to bother looking up their names at the moment. Yeah, but, just address uh, them as the characters. People probably know them better like that anyway. Yes. Youngest boy and youngest girl. Youngest boy, Bobby. He was uh, like infatuated with Cindy. Um, and there was uh, a point where they, uh, where he got into her bunk and <laughs> cops, like cops had to be I called. I thought you said but. I thought that's where he was going too, but I heard bunk. Mm. Yeah. But also remember that these kids, like, they shared dressing rooms. Um, they were they had nobody else their age except them. Um, wh when we talk about this stuff, just remember, like, I mean, to have any sexual outlet, they had to turn to each other growing up. So that, I mean, there was nowhere else to turn. They didn't have like normal lives these kids roy roy what's up shags all right um but uh so yes uh, it, that's another aspect to the story that's cringe as fuck is these kids were exploited as fuck well yeah that happens to most child actors or michael jackson whatever you know well i i, I mean like you you can say that but i think it's amazingly infinitely better now when it comes to I child, highly doubt it. Huh? I highly doubt it, man. Uh, just because of the shit that you hear coming out of Hollywood when it comes to kids now, you know, a lot, a lot of rape. You know, but <sighs> I don't remember any of the Brady kids saying that anybody raped them, but that could be wrong. <laughs> you know what? I I wasn't thinking along those those lines, but I but you know I have to admit you have a point. I was mm -hmm. thinking financially, really. Because yeah, like, though you also have parents that they get their kids into Hollywood and then they think, oh, hey, I got a gravy train. Let me spend all this fucking kids money. No, not, not so much anymore. Like, especially after um, uh, what's his name? Malcolm in the middle. Malcolm in the middle. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some was shit was song. changed after Malcolm in the middle. Because uh, that dude. That kid, uh, Freddie, whatever. Freddie, for Freddie, Freddie, Freddie Muniz. Immunity. That, that kid got they give him like a, uh, not the hormone blockers, but they gave him something to keep him short. Like that's another thing that they did to that kid. They they right. gave him something to make him continue to look young. <laughs> that's why he, he never got uh, tall, dude. That's yeah. why he never got tall or looked like an adult. They were giving uh, kids drugs a lot back then that would stop their growth, like stunt their growth to where they remain looking cute. A lot of that kind of underhanded shit. I wonder if they gave that to fucking that little Cosby girl. Oh, they probably gave it to Webster. He was adorable forever. Maybe and, Gary. Uh, Coleman. Do you think yeah. do you think Gary Coleman took that? Probably. I don't fucking know. I know he had a growth disorder though. Him and right. uh, him, him and the other kid. That was and yeah, out. dude, like uh. Do the What's Coleman. up, Jason? In the chat, by the way, uh, he says uh, McCullough Culkin also had a. Uh, big problem with his parents taking his money but mm -hmm. i don't think it was just him he no. was the most famous but his brothers also do movies i don't know if anybody knows that but he's got two brothers that are in movies yeah um, the, other, the, the other one's in scott pilgrim and another movie i can't remember uh the pilgrim. younger one is in uh signs he's the little boy in signs uh, 
I thought that the guy in Scott Pilgrim was Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, he is. They look a no. lot alike. That's his brother. It's they look brother. a lot alike. You can tell they're related. Right. It's it's the lips. They all oh, have yeah. those fucking lips that look like they're trying to make out with the air in front of them. Like they, they put on lipstick is what it looks like to me. They're just bright red. Not particularly large or anything. Just fucking bright red. Oh, they <laughs> are particularly large. They have the weirdest lips. Like they can't even talk right because their lips are so fucking big. Hey Trippy, did you ever like figure out why you got a strike on your channel? I don't have a strike on my channel. I just you had live streaming taken away. What my no strike? strike. No, I, I don't have a strike. I never did. It was just that the streaming got taken away. Why? Why you Red Feather, the little boy in signs was Haley Joel Osmond. Osmond, uh, no, it wasn't. That, it that was Culkin's was... little brother. That little boy <laughs> was uh... <laughs> been in a movie since uh, fucking AI. I don't think yeah. AI or Six Sense. I don't know which one came last. But stop letting the trolls win, guys. Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a troll. That's ignorance. <laughs> Yeah, and the guy that played Dave Chappelle, that was Haley Joel Osment too. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't know that. <laughs> or whatever the hell his name is. He was also... No, he wasn't, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? The little boy in Forrest Gump? That was also neither one of those. <laughs> okay, now, now, I'll, now I bet you troll. The boy in signs was black. Just got replaced. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, um, that's a woke yeah. take woke okay. I appreciate that you know Michael J. Fox wasn't the first actor to play uh, the, the character from uh, Back to the Future they shot like fucking I think something like uh, a month or something like that with a different actor you can look it up it's fucking true Michael yeah. J. Fox was wasn't supposed to play it was, Marty it was a famous actor too yeah, Michael, he Michael Phelps, was he Malachi? Hmm? Uh, Will Honor lives in the chat. Says, uh, "Wasn't the kind the kid and children from the children from the corn?" Children of the corn. Phelps. Yeah, and no, I, I doubt it. No, dude, that was Michael Vick. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, what, dude. Your history, that God. That that pale redheaded freckled boy. That was like Civil War shit, man. Come on, Michael J. Fox. He played. Uh, he played Kyle Irving, you know. Outlander, uh, Outlander. You, guys, right. you remember well, when Mel back, to, back to the Brady Bunch? Um, so remember when Bobby, Mel we were talking the about the uh, little kid relationships. Okay. I, I'm trying I didn't to see. You had any of those in your life? But go on, Mark. Um, these little kid relationships. So we had Bobby and Cindy, and then Jan hit puberty, and Jan got boobs. And, and all of a sudden, it. all three boys are trying to nail Jan. <laughs> and the dad, probably. Oh, no, wait, he was gay. <laughs> dad, okay, well, yeah, that's a that's another big scandal that I look oh, at man. as, like, not, like a, a non- It's nothing. Nowadays. It really is nothing now, but back then it was a big thing, man. Like, people, they didn't want a gay man playing a straight husband on a TV show. Right, and so and it wasn't because of the representation. No, it wasn't. It was because they didn't like gay people. But he tried right. his damnedest to hide it in the public light when he. I wasn't hate gay people. <laughs> well, I mean, he was one of those like you'd never be able to tell unless he told you, you know. Yeah. yeah. And and you know when the paparazzi gets involved, every fucking thing you do is out the spotlight. So that's what happened is pretty much what happened rather and then he uh he actually died from aids there was a headline that read my dad has aids and i didn't even know he was gay pretty fucked up when you think about it and it was about the brady bunch dad uh-huh yeah that's fucked up yeah well that's one of those headlines you know it's an attention grabber yeah. On top of it being a story about the Brady Bunch. Can we talk about the... Uh, I, I just want to bring up once again uh, how awesome and badass uh, Alice is because uh, that woman never had a scandal about her from the Brady Bunch. No, dude, she was just fucking the butcher. 
Was it Mike the Butcher? I feel like it yeah, was Mike she was the Butcher. The butcher, but that wasn't a scandal. Yeah, that was uh, she was just dating. It was part of the show. Ambie yeah. Davis. God uh, bless Amy Davis, by the way. Yeah, and she had a cameo in the in the movie. At least one of them. I don't remember the second one very much or very well. Right. Uh, the I second do. one they went to Hawaii, which is kind of funny, because uh, okay, so okay. in the show back in the day. There oh, was. Hold on a second, Leaf. If you're gonna talk shit from the chat, you have the link. Just come in here and do it in person. Because I mean, like, what are you gonna do from chat? Get her Twitter banned? Oh no! Stop! Not bad words. <laughs> okay, man. I had to just. It, it, it's kind of stupid to to leave and then go and chat and talk shit. Just why do, it in person. Why do that? Why? How am I worthless? Derail our show. I'm sorry. It's I'm my fault. Not derailing shit. On me. No, I'm the one that did. But regardless, uh, it's stupid to talk shit from the chat. You're making yourself look worse. Just jump in and, st and talk some shit or leave. Or don't leave and just stop talking shit and enjoy the fucking show. There you go. I'm not going to agree with that. High five, Mark. Right on your ass cheek. High five. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> how am I? Wait, wait. How am I? I goddamn how thing about you. How the I heard her say, <laughs> if you want to talk shit, come back on the show. But now I haven't heard a hypocrite, Mark. About you. How, Logan, the fuck, just... how the fuck am I a hypocrite, bitch? Yeah, how? I don't know if you're using that word correctly. I, I don't think you're using that word correctly. Do you know what that word means? She, she talked shit about me and it was allowed. Yeah, welcome to the fucking internet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on the show. You have the link still. Just do it live. Don't be a dumb fucking hole and just get on. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay. Okay. Is that what you were fucking talking about? What? what? Were you saying something about Leaf? When the last <laughs> we first wow. You, oh, man. He was <laughs> saying stuff in the chat, so I sent her an invite. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't looking at the chat then, and so I, it was completely out of context. I didn't know what the fuck it was. What you said. I was it's calling Leaf a hole because she wasn't funny. You're not funny, and you should be <laughs> mad about it. You should be mad about the fact that you're not fucking funny. Uh, Bear Dog, I'm sorry, but you made me. And, and I do have to say, calling you a hole because she doesn't think you're funny is, is not a big deal. You should just ignore something like that. But then <laughs> Leafy did fucking kind of start making it a little personal. <laughs> How am I making it personal? Am I no, making he said, it? He said that to Leaf. Oh, sorry. I'm she she took sorry. offense to it and instead of laughing it off or calling you a hole in return or making a joke about you, she oh, took it off. Oh, wow. Off. I'm a hole. Oh, man. <laughs> well, no, no, no. At That's... least stuff goes in me. Ah. Shit just comes out of you. <laughs> all right. All right. We have a show to do. We did. <laughs> you didn't hear me say, let's burn this fucker to the ground. Let's burn this fucker to the ground. Oh, you sit there. You sit Let's there. burn this fucker to the ground. We want to cry in chat. She wants to fucking cry in chat. God damn. Well, because she knows that people will come to her aid. Like certain well, white knights, meaning Politopod, the Guardian. You know, she's got her little white knights. It's fine. To, to, be, to be fair, her connection right now is shit. Like, I could barely understand what she was no, she left when she was room. in the chat. Yeah. When she, she was in the room, room. she would have came back in here. I mean, you're making yourself look like a complete puss when you go into the chat and then start typing shit. That, that is true. If you do want to say something, just come on. But uh, yeah. Yeah, especially because you were on, yeah. it, uh, like, literally up to the, almost to, up to the point where Outlaw did come on. Well, she left, so I sent a, a Bear Dog the link. Oh, It okay. wasn't like I did it before Leaf left. I mean, but still, even if I did, why the fuck would I care? I, I mean, it's just stupid. It's like, Fucking either get up, get outraged, and, and then fucking say something to the person who said it to you, the, the thing that pissed you off, or you know, get off I of the stream, like, go I, to like, Google I, and look up an insult because that's what it feels like. It feels like you went and you Googled an insult, and we're like, yeah, that's good. That I, I, I totally work. I didn't mean to call her Leafy, but uh, <laughs> Leafy is um, man. One Leaf, I didn't realize what she had said when she first came on. If you'll remember, I even said like what. And then I just ignored it and moved on. I didn't realize what she was saying. But what, yeah. what, what do I hold on? What do I need to be called out on, though? I'm not calling you out on anything. I'm no, just no, no, no. Uh, oh, 
Hold on. Let me address that. Okay. Mark call out I'm talking shit. Mark wasn't laughing like I was. I was laughing. You're going to be mad at yeah. somebody, be mad at Trippy. Because, uh, well, you're, you're not going to like it if you try to take on Trip. <laughs> you're not going to like me very much if you want to argue. You got All a right. problem with it. Come back in here and open your fucking mouth. You don't have All a problem right. doing that when you're the one on stream. I've seen, you, I've seen you take on some shit. Like, okay, just, okay just you know what? Here. If if she wants to be a big old giant titty baby, whatever. I, let's move on to the Brady Bunch and how oh, fucked up the sixties were and what happened to the fucking oh, dog and shit. Oh, just a sec, because I was gonna say I can either leave or be completely quiet if you just want to talk straight to outlaw for a few minutes. Yeah, me too. What? I don't have to chime in. I can mute myself if you feel like you're getting dog piled or whatever. I, I say that without looking at the chat because I'm not looking at the You're chat. Fucking but... take that back, Jason, right fucking now. What did Jason say? He said I'm a super nice guy. Oh, you <laughs> fucking gorgeous <laughs> human being. God damn. Jeez. The you shit people say bastard. online, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> I mean, come on. It is a cunt stream. It might as well turn into a fucking drama stream. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> do I have to go get a fucking top hat to get Leaf to come back in here? I got to get a top hat and drunk. Wait, I need a pirate shirt now? Uh, he's not here to not defend himself, so I guess I should leave Schmeckle out of it. <laughs> no. Oh, no, but also, Trippy, when you were laughing, like, maniacally, and yeah, I asked why chat? you were laughing, and you said the chat, I also yeah. didn't know what was going on. I was, <laughs> I, like, yes, you were laughing. Yeah, I didn't know what the fuck was going on until these two people started talking shit to each other, like until Beard Dog came on and directly addressed her. Beard Dog? Yeah, Beard, Beard Dog. dog. <laughs> fuck me up, man. Well, I mean, it, look, it well, is like fucking funny. Dog, and, you know what I'm uh, saying, guys? Apparently, you say like three things in the chat just got her to leave. So that's on her. And if you can't take it, get off the internet. I mean, what are you going to do? Go run and get the Guardian or Politipod? To hold help on, you? hold on, hold on, Brockus. If you're going to sit here and run your fucking mouth, come in here. Leaf returns, yeah, Brock, returns the insults, and Outlaw and Trip are defensive about it. Yeah, I'm not being defensive. Brock, you're literally running the stream, so just get your ass in here, and if you got something to say to Trippy, no, come on. I, I'm <clears> not. I was not being defensive. What happened to my show? Your show, is, your That's show what got taken over say by when he comes home. back. And uh, I mean, I'll give him my point of view. But if if Brockus has something to say to me, come on, Brockus. I, I mean, I really don't want to make you cry in front of your new audience, but that could be arranged. Show me where I was defensive. I called her a hole a lot. It's funny. If she can't handle it, that's not my problem. Mm -mm. This is I mean, internet. oh, look out, guys. If that we is, accidentally, you know, start something, if we if we seem to have a problem with Brockus, we'll never be allowed on the show again. So what? Okay. <laughs> One of the things you got to okay. learn about the test stream is everybody's going to call everybody else names. And ev I mean, everybody is going to make fun of everybody else. That's just how we do. And even if it's not making fun, even if it's a little shit talking, I mean, mm -hmm. that's just how we do. And yeah, if you, you can't deal with it, I mean, like, you. without running like a little bitch, you don't you I'm don't sorry. last very you don't last very long if you can't at least sit there and take it. Like, I mean, I shouldn't be talking shit to a preteen, but that's just what I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> She's not Opal. No, Opal's much more grown up. I don't know. Mm. Okay, so back to the birdie bunch. <laughs> All right. So, I, yeah. and, uh, no, no, hold on, hold on. I do want to say one more thing. I really, like you. I really wish I'm trying. I'm trying. I know. No. I but now that you derailed, I got to I got to say my piece. Leave, please come back on because one, I really like you. You talk shit to some fucking nasty people, and I fucking love it. And it, I'm a little surprised actually that you won't come back on and just and just say your piece. Like I've seen you take on some fucking serious fuckers. And, uh, it, like, I admired you a lot for that. And I still admire you, but, I mean, it just. Don't tell me to get my head out of my ass, Brockus, when everybody has the head up yours. person that called you a hole. 
Don't start 50 fights. <laughs> uh, if you want to talk shit from chat, Bragas. Brockus is Kang around here. And, and Do you have a secret and, issue with me? Look, Brockus, don't is, run. Is this Metal Gear stuff. Solid now? Yeah, I'm gonna don't don't just mom. go to, to fucking, don't go to Leaf's side just because she's new or just because she has a pussy. Oh my I mean, god. Are you we think you're friends, but you just met her. So Hold on, hold on. Are we miladying the fuck out of this right now? I feel no. like that's what he's doing. Are we defending Milady's honor, Brockus? Nope, you got uh, a fucking actually, I, I, Dude, I've been looking at this chat and Trippy. I have to say you're mischaracterizing what he's fucking saying, man. I don't care. He, he can he can characterize it himself. He's literally <sighs> right. He I, wants I his mean, points to be like clarified, the first, then jump the first in. Part of it, the first part of it was he was just giving a little breakdown of the situation, and then you guys called him out. And uh, now, no, and, I'd be and damned so if somebody's gonna sit here and call me a hypocrite. To that, now you're saying he's white no knight. I'm just like, what the he fuck? He is a white knight for every fucking woman who comes on to the cunt stream, except for me. Well, I could. I, well, I'm I not a woman. But like, I could, I could talk shit about some chick who just came out of the cunt stream, and he'd be like, "Stop it, trippy." I mean, I'm sorry, Brockus, but you're not gonna be getting any internet, pussy. Dude, how was I hypocritical? I called her a hole. Wait, I say worse shit to people well. I like in chat. It was a joke. It's, I mean, come it, on in here, man. Shit. It, it's not. It's not a dick. She shouldn't have taken it so hard. I don't understand. This is. This well, I mean, is how I am. <laughs> I get called a fag like a dozen times a day. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I get yeah. called a raging bull dyke. It's like, what the fuck. I get called worse than that. These are some of my good friends. So if I'm you not can't intending. Take it, then why the fuck are you on the cunt stream? Yeah, I'm not intending to like hurt your little get pussy that. feels, but if your pussy feels get hurt, I'm gonna laugh at you because it's funny. And now it's boring because neither one of these people will come in and actually say what they mean to say. So what? I who's being a hypocrite now? Okay, I, she's told me to fuck a cow, and then I said, what did I say about fucking a cow? I don't even remember, because it's not that, that fucking you could, important. You would rather fuck a cow than her. Well, at least I'd get some enjoyment yeah. out of the cow. Anyways. Understandable, Brockus, if you can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> you said it all mean. It's understandable if you just can't do it. Okay, but, uh, okay for the... Bro do actual topics. Yeah, can we get... I've been see. I've been trying to get past this. Everybody want to keeps fucking, you know. Well, I think Mark's done. I'm good. good. Okay. Oh, I'm no. done. I I just want to say I love all of you. Oh, I love you too. Yeah, it's so hard. And Bear Dog made me hard. It's funny watching you people fight. Always. It really is. Constant <laughs> direction. Mm -hmm. It brings my. It brings joy to my day. <laughs> Uh, All right, Brady Bunch. Okay. What, what were we talking that. about? The little boy trying to fuck the little girl? Is that what we were yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, like you had said uh, that she went to the party and then everybody was trying to get in them pants. Everybody was trying to fuck Jan. Even the mom. Jan got boobs and then all of a sudden everybody was trying to fuck Jan. Um, but there was another instance with the police. But this was with uh, Marsha and Greg, the oldest couple. But they snuck out of their trailers in the middle of the night to go take a walk on a beach. They brought a six pack, they brought a blanket oh, and, um, <laughs> and they, they worded, they, they didn't reference it or word it in the way, but I mean, like apparently the cops showed up, told them to put their clothes on and, uh, oh, brought them back. yeah, they, they was so, getting uh, their bag on. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you can only assume that fucking, they were just banging the they shit were getting out. It. At least they were they were at least getting ready to have sex. Right. It's like they they were close, maybe. Or they, you know, had full penetration going on and the cops joined and let them finish and then took them home. Something. Right. You never know. <laughs> so yeah, Peter and Jan had a had a moment where the cops came and broke them up, and so did fucking Greg and Marcia. So that's a lot of police breaking up a lot of teenage sex. Jesus. And let's see, Greg. Greg was a big old pothead, but uh, 
Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's good for him. He probably yeah, needed it. He, you know, that reminds me of that Brandon Rogers skit where he's a hall monitor and he's like, oh my God, the, the fourth graders are inside of each other. That's what that <laughs> reminded me of. Sorry. Ugh. I'm high. What do you want? That's fine. But apparently, uh, the kid who played Greg <laughs> Brady had been smoking weed since he was 12. I bet, man. So, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, look at like uh, Drew Barrymore. You know, she was on Coke when she was like nine. Right. And also, Cindy, the youngest, looks almost exactly like Drew Barrymore as a kid. Mm hmm. Pretty close. I oh, here's here's something really fucked up about Cindy. Um, they bleached her hair for almost every episode. Am I talking too loud? No, you're good. All uh, right, they bleached her hair for almost every episode, and so after they were like after the show ended, like her hair started like falling out in clumps. Fucking, she's like she wears wigs and shit now. Yep, they over bleached it. Uh, that's the yeah. same thing that, that can happen if, like, you over dye your hair. Like a lot of those people that you see will, uh, that change their hair color, like once every week. That's yeah, gonna happen to them when for they're almost older. every episode. Wow, I wonder what their shooting schedule was like. It had to have been pretty, uh, pretty fucking tight for that to start happening. Well, or it's it's not just like shooting the show because, like I said, these this family was an insane phenomenon. Um, they would tour. It, it, it became like a variety type show where they would tour and go on stage and fucking sing and dance and have different acts on and guest stars and shit like that. And yeah, the, uh, the Brady variety show. Isn't that the yeah. one that uh, the girl, one of the girls didn't show up for that, right? Oh, I, I don't know. I thought it was Marsha. Like they replaced her on the show. I could be mixing Possibly. this up with Marcia an episode the of The Simpsons. The, we haven't <laughs> gotten there yet, but Marsha was the most messed up of the chicks. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Ow, my nose. Because Will on her list said that earlier. Ow, my nose. Because, you know, that's what you do when you get hit in the face with the football. You, yeah. ex, ex, you explain in, in a couple words, or, or you actually point out which part of your face actually hurts the most. You know. Ow. <laughs> My nose, ow, my, my lip, oh, ow. Who, who yells ow when they get hurt? Usually um, I hear, ah, fuck. Right? <laughs> um, here, here's another fucked up thing is that uh, like halfway into filming of the first season, the dog who played their dog, Tiger, got hit by a car and died. And oh, hey. the trainer. Hold on just a sec. Uh, currently, Outrage says the Brady Bunch was actually an attempt to make divorce acceptable. They were trying to make I, it. I don't doubt it. They were good. the first. And I could. I see that, man. Yeah, but it, it's really sneaky, especially because it's not about divorce. It's about marrying after you're divorced, and they well, never. Yeah, like Bean song they never it. bring up the fact that they're a step family. And when I say never, I don't mean never. But like it happens maybe once, one to three times in the whole fucking series that mm -hmm. they bring up the that they deal with the fact that they're a step family. Right. Uh, the whole time they're like they are a family. You know what I'm saying? Um. So I mean, it it did implant this seed in America's head, but they were very sneaky about it because it really was a show about a loving family, but because they were a step family, yes, it was like saying, oh, look at how li good life can be after you get divorced. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Why am I echoing so hard? Is it done? Oh, it was, okay. I get it. Um, Uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, I, I totally lost train of thought. I'm so fucking right. sorry, dude. Like, my mind just it's went okay. fucking blank. You said that. It's uh, okay. So I was I was talking about their dog, uh, their dog Tiger, in the first season, halfway through, got hit by a car, 
And uh, so the trainer ran to the pound and picked up a new dog and brought him to the set the same day. So completely untrained. It wouldn't do what they wanted it to do. So they nailed his collar to the floor to keep him in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did this for a couple episodes until they finally decided to get rid of the dog altogether, except for a few specific scenes. Uh So the iconic backyard always has the doghouse, and it's kind of an iconic part of their set. But after season one, you barely see you see the dog in only a couple episodes. Well, isn't it true that the fucking the dog kept attacking people on set when they uh, the replacement dog because they got a replacement for Tiger. And I heard he bit a couple of people on set. So, like, the next time that you see Tiger, he's actually chained down in the doghouse. Yeah. And, well, like, if you watch, like you my dog, story doesn't see that. Aggressive. It just says they nailed his collar to the ground. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, his collar. That's what it was. But, yeah, they yeah. nailed his collar to the ground while he was in the cave or the, uh, the doghouse so that he wouldn't they attack anybody. And if you pay attention to that scene, you can tell there's a lot of aggression on that dog's face. <laughs> like it Which wants he... to fuck up the actor's heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's kind of, I think at the time, at least, it was a sort of rare breed of dog to find. So they had to kind of deal with what they got. You know, and then they tried to replace the original dog because uh, I don't know why. But the replacement dog was the aggressive one, I think. It could have been oh, the yeah. original dog that was aggressive. I mean, I the know. first dog was a fully trained acting dog. Okay. And then it got hit by a car, and oh, no. the, the trainer panicked and went and picked up a dog at the pound uh-huh. to use in the show. The dog was pissy. The dog was like, fuck right. you, man. I ain't no actor. Fuck this shit. Right. dog was a thug. It's it's <laughs> like if if uh, like Donald Trump ki- Donald Trump's kid died, and they're like, oh, well, uh, go to the nearest penitentiary and just pick one. <laughs> It'll be just fine. It'll be exactly the same. Right. Let's see. Uh, it happens a lot, or happened a lot with the uh, dogs back in the day, man. When they would try to replace a dog for a movie or a or a TV show, they would end up getting a crazy aggressive dog. When it was honestly, most likely, what I'm guessing, rather, there you go. What I'm guessing <laughs> is that it was the treatment that the trainers were giving the dogs that made them aggressive. Because, I mean, some of those acting dogs, they were raised to do those things from, you know, a pup. Yeah. So they understand what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. But if you get a fully grown lookalike dog, it's going to look at you and be like, oh, God, this guy wants to fucking kill me. And it's going to act out aggressively because it thinks that you're going to. I mean, not it. necessarily. If you know how to train a dog, I mean. Well, yeah, but not uh, a lot of the trainers, you know, they use kind of. Not, not really shady practices, but they use the same thing they would on the dog that they're used to. You know what I mean? Right, right. And the new dog doesn't respond kindly. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. I'd say I'd lean more. To, they wouldn't. They they'd know what they're doing with a dog who's not trained versus a dog who is nope. trained. They wouldn't treat it. That dog ran around and bit people on set. But uh, what yeah. what I can oh, say is wrong. They would, they would definitely. Uh, have different standards of uh, what's acceptable. Some of the stories of like the animal abuse back in those days is fucking insane it, for movie for like animal actors. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, oh god, have you ever seen the movie Milo and Otis? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. Outlaw, you ever see Milo and Otis? Don't talk to me about that fucking movie. Why? Why? What's your problem with Milo and Otis? That fucking movie was depressing and dead animals and shit. No. I think we watched two different movies. No, they like (laughs) fucking had to uh, they had to replace a bunch of the dogs and the cats because they kept fucking dying. Actually, I don't doubt it. Like the the river scene especially. Here, here's what struck out with me. Like I watched it a ton as a kid. I loved that fucking movie as a kid. It's uh, trippy. It's a, it's a little movie with a British uh, narrator narrating the whole thing, and it's about a little puppy, a little pug nosed puppy, and a little orange cat that go off on an adventure and uh, go through all these different perils and end up coming out on top at the end. Um, 
but you yes. watch this movie and there's scenes like uh <clears throat> they throw a cat off a fucking cliff into the ocean. <laughs> a cat like, dead. Yeah, that's fucked. That's fucked you, up. And they fucking follow this cat down with the camera the whole way down. <laughs> and it's like its feet are fucking down. You can tell it's cat like never dead. been sensitive. Life. They did things like they stranded the puppy on a fucking rock and, oh and during God. high tide. That's incredibly for hours. Oh, fucked up, man. Crying. <laughs> oh God, it's so God. fucked up. Like yeah, they put, talk they about put when I talk about the fucking practices of the way that they trained and used animals back in the day, right? They put a cat on a cliff and filmed it getting attacked <laughs> by seagulls. Oh my god. And it's so like cold and wet and meowing and obviously oh, terrifying and getting pecked at by seagulls and they're just filming the motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, that's so wrong. Why are you telling me this? And why am I laughing? <laughs> that's so fucked up. Uh, oh god. It came a little Right, and it it's just—I mean, there's <laughs> some hurts. parts in that where you you're like, "Oh my god, they actually had to put that. They actually had to half drown that dog. <laughs> like it's fucked up." Oh my god, and that—that's what called Milo and Otis. You said, yeah. "Yes, Milo and what about, Otis." Um, what about Homeward Bound? You remember that? What about movie? Watership Down? Homeward no, Bound. No, no. That was a Homeward great Bound. kids movie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about the behind the scenes treatment of the animals, but at least in the movie, when you watch the movie, there's nothing overtly harming the animals. Like, you so know that, like, when the dog gets hit with the porcupine, that's all like makeup and shit, and he didn't really get hit with the porcupine and stuff. Like in Milo and Otis, they would have smacked that fucking dog with a porcupine. And watched him walk around with a bunch of needles sticking out of his face. You know they didn't do that for the actual fucking Homeward Bound movie. Right. Maybe. I don't know if they didn't do that. Did they not do that? I kind of feel like they might have done that. I also kind of feel like they might have no, killed that, that, that cat a couple post, times. Uh, that's post PETA. PETA, you know, like in the in the 80s, there no, was a big I, I kind of feel like they killed that cat at least twice. <laughs> The cat from Homeward Bound. Oh well, no, but they they have no scenes where it's like you don't understand the difference between the scene in Homeward Bound where the cat is wet and and like is near a river. Um, we're talking about like what I'm talking about is literally throwing cats off cliffs and watching them swim back to shore uh, from like <laughs> an eighth of a mile out. Antihero says post PETA or post PETO. He's he's not sure. I don't think. Well, Peter. To to be fair, when Peter first started, they did do a lot of good for animal rights. In my opinion, one oh, of the biggest probably. things was uh, the treatment of an animals in movies and and TV shows. Um, you couldn't. Um, that's when you started seeing things like uh, no animals were harmed in the making of this film and shit. That was because Peter put a lot of pressure on Hollywood to do shit like that. Oh, dude, and if I made a movie with animals uh, today, I would put a disclaimer that says no animals were hurt, as far as you know. As far as you know. You're, that movie <laughs> would never be made. It would be a joke. There wouldn't be any actual animals in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, just to see who you could outrage. Like, no animals were hurt, as far as you know, audience. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, man, that was really funny, Trippy. Thank you. That was funny. Ah. That thing earlier? Yeah, surgery. <laughs> that thing a Hulk earlier. Hogan movie with something offensive in it? I'm shocked. Dude, um, I love Mr. Nanny. I know. Nanny. Actually, I was a big fan of, uh, what was it called? It, it wasn't Universal Soldier, but it was the Hulk Hogan movie. Yes. What was it? He was an alien, and then he had two ba alien bounty hunters after him. Oh, I can't remember either. Is that the one with the dude, um, uh, the guy that played uh, Doc Brown? And him going, I was frozen. Was that Christopher today. Lloyd? Was that yes, Christopher Lloyd? Suburban okay. Commando, baby. Suburban Commando. Yeah. There we go. I was frozen today. Yeah, I only know about that from the nostalgia, nostalgia critic. Yeah. Yeah. 
Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. And he barely even looks like he's older than he was when he played Doc Brown. No, he he looks old as fuck nowadays, too. Yeah, have no. you seen, like, the Roseanne reboot had him in it for a really? hot second? Yeah, just an episode. I never even watched it. And, it, you know, he's looking old, but he doesn't look that bad. No, I mean, considering, I mean, he was 103 when he played Doc Griffin. Or Doc Brown. <laughs> I almost said Doc Griffin. Uh, <laughs> uh, He's 103 then. I mean, he's like 192 now, right? Or, uh, or at least 152. Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Dude, Are we going I remember, back counting from his cowboy days or what? I don't know. I remember the, watching uh, some of the Ernest movies. Remember? Remember Ernest I love the too? Ernest movies. Yeah. My favorite yeah. one was Ernest. I, I could never decide, actually. Ernest Scared Stupid was awesome. I loved seeing the trolls and shit like that when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But then again, you have uh, Ernest Goes to Jail, where he gets uh, put into the electric chair and then gets like electric shock powers and starts flying around using static electricity and shit. It was fucking amazing. You know, uh, the character Ernest was actually like a character created for commercials. It was one of those, like, he was basically the, uh, not really spokesperson, kind of like, he was like a mascot for something before it became a movie series. Or uh, That's right, he would do all his characters. Like, yes. As Ernest doing characters. Right. But, I, <laughs> I mean. He was a serial, yeah, but he was a I mascot mean, for something. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the cartoon was created to sell the toys that had already been created. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like Care Bears. Care Bears the same way, Rainbow Bright. Uh, that was because of Hallmark. Popples. Popples. But yeah. I was going to say something, but God damn it, I forgot. You know what? I don't care which one came first as long as like the story's good and shit like that. I was all well, yeah, about I mean, it. Look, look at Space Jam, right? Space Jam was only created because Michael Jordan did shoes, uh, shoe commercials with the Looney Tunes. And then they created Space Jam off of that premise. I no, I, I think Michael Jordan was just an amazing basketball player. Yeah, of course. He was pretty bad at everything else he did. Remember when he tried to play base baseball? Uh, baseball? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I do. The Marlins, right? Isn't that who it was? I believe so. <clears throat> I do remember there was a big controversy when he wanted to go back to playing basketball because his jersey had basically been uh, retired. And he was fighting for that number back. What was it, like 23? 23. 23. Yeah, and he, he was trying to get the number 23 back, but they were like, no, we retired the number when you became a baseball player. He ended up getting it back as far as I remember. But well, it yeah. a while. No, he, like, nobody else except for maybe Kobe could fucking do something like that. Like, Kobe! <laughs> retire, get their jersey retired, then come back and like, hey, I want about to Kobe beef? <laughs> I fucking hate basketball. It's all gay. Every sport. Hockey is hardcore. Yeah, yeah. Hockey, at least you can lose a turn. Okay, we're, we're getting way side railed. I want to talk about drug abuse. Do it. I thought well, you had well, yeah. he was going to read. It, bitch. Spit it out already. Marsha did cocaine. I'm done. No. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Who <laughs> didn't do that cocaine? That one person did drugs on that show. Well, okay, no, 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 but uh, Marsha's, okay, this is how bad um, Maureen or Marsha, whichever one you want to say, Marsha Brady, her cocaine habit got. Uh, she would stay up three or four days in a row. She was quoted as saying, like, it didn't matter if there was cocaine around. I had to do every last flake of it before I would allow myself to go to bed. Like, I... The only thing that mattered was doing cocaine. Like, if there was cocaine around, I would not stop doing it until it was all gone. And so she'd stay up for three or four days in a row. Um, she fucked up her, completely fucked up her future career because she, there's a story of her having an interview with Steven Spielberg for the role of um, what, what ended up going to, um, 
God, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, it was for Raiders of the Lost Ark, and it was for Harrison's Harrison Ford's love interest. I can't remember the name of the chick that got it. Harrison Ford. Yeah, because she was fucking Steven Spielberg. You know, in the, original, uh, the original, the yeah. original, the original script for uh, one of the. I don't know which one it was. Um, either way, uh, Indiana Jones. One of the original scripts. Basically, he was a pedo. Say if it you again? listen, you can even hear it in the movie. One of the uh, Indiana Jones movies. I forget which the fuck one. Uh, Indiana Jones was a pedophile. He. Don't like, you he dare to... fucking talk about Indiana he, Jones like look, that, mother. You talk. Uh, you he, better back that shit up with some solid evidence. He talks in the movie. He talks to the woman who he used to be in love with or is in love with in the movie. And she tells him, I was really young and you weren't. And he goes, you know what you did. And if you look or whatever, or if you, you like study the movie or whatever, I think they tell you that she's like in her late twenties. And they mentioned that him and her were together 15 years ago, which would put her somewhere around like 13 so what she was 13 when he was like what 16 or 17 when he was like uh 30 or some shit <laughs> i think you're you're off no, the character's a teacher the, the character's a teacher ah, i'll find the thing and i'll send it to you and you can watch it for yourself i think it's a mr gunk video <clears throat> where he goes over uh, yeah send me the link to that because i'm interested Jeez. i'm interested yeah, because no you better show some solid fucking evidence for a pedophile claim against Indiana fucking Jones. All well, right? It's not a real life character, motherfucker. Also, also, there is a scene in that movie a real life where person, he's I mean. in the class and some chick, like, I can't remember exactly what she does, but oh, she writes on her eyelids, like, fuck me or something like that. And while he's looking, he's teaching his class and she closes her eyes and it says, I can't remember what it says, but she's got something like do me or call me or something on her fucking eyes. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah. And he totally fucking passes that shit up like a gentleman. Because he was in love with the chick he fucked when she was 15 and he was like 502. What are we talking about? How Indiana Jones likes to bang little girls. Oh. Right? And I'm, I mean... You know what? Without evidence, I was I never a fan. Me too indie. You can't hashtag me too indie, dude. That's just no, too much. I'm not saying that you should try. I'm just saying that it's a throwaway line in the movie, which is most likely what it is. And they fucked up the math on it. But a throwaway, and yet you're trying to establish him. pedophilia. Come on, dude. Bro. It's a fucking character. Stop thinking he's real. Either if way, the guy love, liked. To it's ancient artifacts, which are a lot older than him. So, if anything, the ancient, ancient artifacts, artifacts and young files, bro. He's into that young girl shit, man. I'm telling you, I'll send you the thing. You can watch it for yourself. You'll see what I'm talking about. Then we could do a country stream about it. You know who's really into the young girl shit? It's Sean Connery in that fucking movie. He bangs the same chick that Indy's banging, and he's like Ew. fucking 80 in that shit. Exactly. Yeah. Well, there, there you go, man. Uh, of course, she's of age, but goddamn, he's like three. Th Sean Connery's like three or four times her age in that fucking movie. Yeah, and she thinks Sean Connery and Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Do you get, do you get the for Harrison Ford? Han Solo shot himself in the foot. I hate Star Wars. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't watch Star Wars. I it's have gay. no love for that shit. It's I have fucking, zero love for it. <laughs> so like when people are telling me that the new movies are shit, I'm like, yeah, and so are the old ones. Yeah, so is everything <laughs> else. Wow. Um, I, I'm about to quit. This whole <laughs> fucking show. Bye. You fucking lame-ass amateurs. Bye. You don't even know what a good story oh, is. Oh, lame-ass amateur. Go be a hole somewhere else. <laughs> I, I, I was fine until you said the fucking origin, a ridge trick, baby. <laughs> You oh need a tampon. Dude, I have plenty. Watch the movies as movies. Don't watch the movies as, you know, uh, Star Wars. You know, just look at it as a regular movie. And then tell me it's good afterwards. <laughs> tell me the it's not god awful. Just tell me it's not are good movies. No. No, they weren't. Dude, Nostalgia they were is kicking you in the, the nuts. 
the, at the dude, very the very most incredible storyline amazing one of the best villains ever put on fucking screen ever you can't argue with that shit and fucking uh the practical effects they had in that movie were terminator fucking- is a better villain it's than darth vader it's a, it's a movie that still stands up to this day. You know how we were talking earlier no, about it, doesn't, it didn't stand up in the seventies that don't hold up because oh it's all gimmick shit. Yeah, Star, Star Wars, Wars is the one movie that I was mentioning. It the sucks. Original. It doesn't hold up. I would put if it up against it's worse. Dude, oh, they no. use parts that as a unit of measurement. Any of that shit, especially fucking. Uh, they couldn't even get their own star okay. science down. Come on now. They were like, oh, he, 12 parsecs. He, he did it in 12 parsecs. That's, he, he did do it in 12 parsecs. Measure, you, you want, you want to get it as a measurement of time. Parsecs is, is a measurement is a, is a of, unit of measurement. It's a distance. It's a distance. So, yeah. So, so how could he, he do something in 12 parsecs? Be, because because, uh, because the place where he's at and the place where he's going in between is a black hole and the route to go between point A and B is around this black hole. So for him to do it in 12 parsecs means that he took a shallower curve around that black hole than anybody else. He, he cut down the distance between A and B around this black hole by getting as close okay. to closer to it than anybody right. else. That's how he did the Kessel Run in under 12 parsecs. Uh, then tell Ooh. me how long it took him. I just nerd schooled you. Nerd yeah, schooled. Tell me how long it took him to do it then. Doesn't what matter. Did, it's, it's, did uh, he take uh, a longer uh, period of time not, than other not, people? Time. <laughs> No, no, no. Explain that, though. Like, did it take him a longer period of time to do so than other people took to get through whatever race it was? Um, No, because he was traveling at the same speed as the other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they the never mentioned that Falcon in the movie, did they? That badass. Either way, the movie still sucks. <laughs> no, just, just schooled you. You have to love him now. That movie, especially the first Star Wars, was fucking saved in editing. It was saved in editing. Oh yeah, of course. Because, that they uh, had a guy who decided his, to do his vision for Star Wars things. was always crazy. It, it was stupid, just like it ended up. His his, his wife and his and the his fans of Star Wars around him edited the shit out of it to make dude, it the, the fans message. of Star Wars just can't see past everybody saying it's a great movie. It's a bad movie. The storyline's stupid. Get over exactly, it. Exactly, Jason. Get over uh, it. Your, your movie sucks. Everything after Jedi has been crap. And people like the new Star Wars movies are such crap that oh, people are saying the prequels are good. <laughs> it blows <laughs> my mind. The prequels were just as shitty as the first ones. You are so wrong. You that are lost. so wrong. Objective. You just, that's you like just, objective. You're following a movie. You, you're like, it's so great because everybody told you it was great before you watched it. <laughs> everybody told you it was great. Right? Am I not right? Am I wrong um, on that? Did somebody tell you that it was an awful movie? Don't watch it. Or did everybody say you gotta see Star- any Star Wars, whichever one was the first one you well, saw? That, that's not an argument because there have been people that told me I have to go see this movie. It's great, but I fucking hated it. The I Departed. Know, saying, I fucking hate that movie. Everybody goes off saying okay. how good I, I get it, dude. I, I don't like. It. I don't like Scarface. There you go. Like, and that's I, I love fucking Scarface. But, but it's not Star because Wars people too. told me it was good. It's because I enjoyed the movie. I'm not a fucking. I'm not a sheep trippy. Okay. I mean, I could say, look, I could say Star Wars. It had some cool stuff in it, but that doesn't mean it was a good movie. Sorry. <laughs> I disagree. I I really like the movie. I really like um the. No, I, I get what you I, I don't want to go cool. into all of it. I can get but defensive. One, like, one thing that did expand that my love about. for Star Wars was actually reading a you lot of bunch? them. Okay. Oh, the uh, expanded the expanded universe. universe books about what happens after the the Ridge Trench. And I like uh, some of that stuff from like uh, the before four times, man. Like the old school. Knights of the Old Republic is another thing. Like I played the shit out of those games and. Oh, they were some of the best games ever to come out on Xbox. But yeah, the Star Wars movies that they weren't as great as everybody claims they are. They're no way no movie's perfect, but people act like Star Wars is. I don't act like it's perfect. Mm. I just 
I just no, think that they, perfect, those three impossible. movies are really good. The third one, less so than the first two. It, it goes two, one, three, or sorry, uh, five, four, six. Those are good movies. The prequels are crap. The new ones coming out, all of them except for uh, Rogue Squadron, were crap. And you know even Rogue know? Squadron wasn't that great. I but hate the screen transitions in Star Wars. I fucking hate them. Those the fucking side wipes and shit, all the wipes and everything. I've never been able to get into Star Wars. I've never been able to. The stories, it's the way that it's delivered. It's just there's no believability to it. Okay, you know someone, someone in the chat made a very good point. Um, Probably not. Start talking Star Wars, women leave, and uh, that is a very good point. So let's stop talking Star Wars and get some big booty bitches back up in here. I was saying the same thing Bear Dog was. She probably just had to go do something else. So <laughs> she was agreeing with me. <laughs> I I just had what to defend her. To get the rich Trich is a good concept. And if Disney had followed the fucking already established uh, fucking canon of the books in Star Wars, they would have done so much, like a billion times better with their fucking movies. If they had just followed the fucking what was already canon, they would have made fucking billions of dollars on those goddamn movies. Disney is stupid and fucked things up beyond recognition. All right, ready? So, Star ready? Wars got you into the Brady Bunch, huh? Totally, totally. Okay, so... Um... It, I mean, it's really about the incest connection. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Together, so. That didn't even really happen, though, like the in Star Wars, like Luke and, and, and uh, Leia. I almost said Layla. I don't know why. But they didn't actually have sex. They just shared, like, a, a weird kiss, right? Yeah, but it's not really about them having sex. It's about, it's about them having those feelings for each other. Yeah. Because, I, mean, huh? I mean, sex is just the physical expression of those feelings. And just because they didn't get a chance to do it doesn't mean they wouldn't have done it. I like to think that uh, at least Luke would have used a force condom. There you go. Right. But, uh, okay, so, I, you know, after, after the cocaine admission from Marsha Brady, kind of out of shit to talk about with the Brady Bunch. Other than, yeah. like, after the Brady Bunch, um, Peter became an alcoholic. Cindy started selling dope. Um, Mike fucking came out as gay. Like, a bunch of shit happened afterwards. He died of AIDS. Yeah. He did. That's sad. Boo-hoo. An actor that was in a show that was around before I was born died of AIDS. Oh, my God. That'd Alice be the dick, I'm just saying. in a tub. Hit her head and died of a uh, subdermal hematoma. Really? Wow. Yeah. I thought when you hit your but, head in the bathroom, you just invented a time machine. She was pretty old as fuck when that happened. Well, yeah. She was still a badass lady. Like, you could tell yeah. with her if you were to fuck up, she'd tell you like it is. Right. She was 88 when she died, so. Wow. Yeah. Now, that bitch that plays the mom. I don't trust her, man. She, Lawrence she Henderson? Like a snake in the grass. Yeah, she's a fucking snake in the grass, man. Right. I'm pretty sure that she ruined the kid that played Bobby. Like she fucked him up mentally. Their, their relationship did because, like, you ever seen her interact after he was, a, you know, an adult and shit? He acted like she was his mother, you know? Like, he still acted that way, and she did, too. She acted like she could tell him what to do, and that's fucking creepy to me. I, well, it, from an outsider, I bet you it would be creepy, yeah. but I'm trying to imagine what it's like growing up where, I mean, Basically like, two moms first of all, that. this kid takes direction his entire life. Mm -hmm. He is growing up living in a fantasy world where this woman is his mother for mm -hmm. his entire formative years, pretty much. Yeah, like I said, man, basically two parent or two of each parent, two moms, two dads. Right. And like you go to work, you got to talk with your other mom and dad. You know, you come back, 
if that's even how it worked. I don't know if his real parents were in his life. I don't know. Right. But fuck, man. Yeah, they that was fucked up. But uh, well, okay, one thing I did want to talk about is the, uh, the. I also wanted to mention the Hawaii episode. So, uh, Brady Bunch two, the movie, uh, they copied the Hawaii episode of the show, yeah. and it was a like a big, huge thing. I think it was one of the first two part episodes ever to air on TV. It might have been the first two part episode to ever air on TV. Right. was when the Brady Bunch went to Hawaii. Um, while they were in Hawaii, oh, God, I can't remember the details of the story. Let me look it up. But uh, just just more, I, I mean, bottom line, just more, all the kids are fucking each other. And uh, they were in Hawaii when it happened. But That's then I just thought it was kid. funny that they made the movie about that Hawaii double episode when that was a big point of scandal for the show. Who's in here? I'm in here. Oh, I was going to say, are you in a BJ? It sounded like I could hear spit in somebody's mouth. Oh, no, no. no. I'm actually giving one to you, Trippy. What the fuck? Well, I mean, you you're interrupt me midway. You do it. What the you fuck? Know, you don't see all that uh, red jizz dripping out of his mouth there, Trippy? <clears throat> Red jizz, huh? It's red. What oh, fuck, trippy. Trippy, 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 dude. I told you if you're gonna fucking bleed, to, to fucking not do this, all right? It's what the fuck, man? <laughs> fuck. Just, 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 That's what you get for biting on the organ that fills up with blood, man. Uh, you so, know, uh, Mars Hamill over here. This is this is uh, anti-hero. Anti-hero. Well, you guys got to meet. Seeing you around a lot. Uh yeah, yeah. I, I kind of. I kind of go all over the place. Yeah, uh, it's no, fun. I have Mark, a good time. Meet kind of people. Was earlier, Mark was like, "Who the fuck's this anti-hero bitch?" And uh, I, was like, I, I hope he didn't say anti-hero bitch. He doesn't fucking know me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Trippy's a shit stir. Don't listen. No, to trust me. I fucking know. I know all about. Tri- <laughs> I know all about Trippy. I, he was one of the first guys I really started streaming with. I know about Trippy stirring shit. That's all he fucking does. It's like Schmeckle Light over there. You gonna uh, jump into character for a Santa hero? I, I am not. I down. I only do characters when when I am on a character stream. We are not on a character stream, so I'm not doing that. It kind of sounded like you were starting to slip. So no, no, I'm just I'm I'm tired. I've had a long goddamn day, so my voice is gonna be all over the fucking place. I'm certain. I showed people your GoFundMe and told them to go donate to your black ass, but they uh, I don't know if they did. So uh, I probably not. Like nobody, yeah. nobody ever donates. They 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 like retweet that like, GoFundMe right doesn't. there is to help out a. That's where I need to go do that. Name. Yeah, you probably have. Like I'm, Everybody I'm trying shilling not shilling you, shilling you because you got like five weeks before you're homeless or something. Uh, right? Less than that. Less than that. I have a. Uh, so like this house becomes somebody else's house a, on the third of next month. Um, so I've got How a little. Been in the house? I've been in the house for a while. I just didn't get. I just didn't get told that we were going to need to be moving until uh, about a month and a half ago. Well, a, and... a while doesn't cut it because okay. First of all, I've had. I'm not no expert by any means, but I have had my fair share of fucking landlords. All right. Mm-hmm. So. Um, First of all, if you've been in the house for six months, um, legally, like, I mean, they cannot kick you out. Even the cops can't come and drag uh, it's, you it's, it's not. So it's not being kicked out. It's that my entire family is moving out. And because of certain things about my family, which I'll, I'll happy to be talking about off air if you'd like. I don't want to talk about on air because that's like mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. about my family and whatnot. Fair enough, fair but, enough. Uh, but because of certain things in my family, they're they're very... They're very bitchy and very anal about certain shit. And so because it would make them look bad if I was like, nah, I'm not going until I'm ready. Uh, they are at this point threatening that they will move my shit for me while I'm at work um, and put it all in storage. I mean, it's it's gotten it's gotten bad. We'll put it that way. Um, it's not a great place that I live in because I do not get along with my family as a whole. Um, I'll, I'll put it this way. Uh, they are charismatic, evangelical, non-denominational Christians. Yeah. Um, and, and I am not. So uh, it, it's been, in fact, I'm I'm a, I'm a pagan. So it's been really awkward for the last year or so, and it's just gotten progressively worse. 
I was about to offer you a room to crash in, bro. And then you're a fucking pagan. Oh, no, no. So you think you get it he's wrong? That, like, look, he's a pagan. That doesn't mean that he's trying to put spells on people. No, no. I keep that. That's, Mark, a, gotta that's, start a, watching personal, that's a personal choice, Mark. And I'm, that's not something I'm forcing on anybody left or right. I only even mention it just to illustrate just how much of a difference there is between me and my family. Yeah, let him come live in your house. No, nah, really? I look. I hey, that's the that's like the biggest problem with this thing. Everybody's talking with Zach. Oh, I just dox myself. Fuck. That's like an, Auntie here. You know, you gotta you gotta fucking characters. talk about this shit. You gotta t get on streams and tell people about your about your fucking GoFundMe. And I'm like, I feel like a parasite asking. That's oh. I, I, I get you. I get. I don't want to ask. It's like, and then like one of my buddies is like, "Hey man, you know that thing in your past that you don't fucking talk about? You got to use that." And I'm like, <laughs> "No." Okay, no, I don't know what he's talking about, but don't play the victim. No, it's, no, it's not a victim no, thing. It's, just, it's something <laughs> entirely different. I'm, I'm just like, no, I, no, I fucking hate that shit. You don't I, use your past uh, to get one right. up on people. You, you, no. you can't move in with me as long as if you sacrifice anything, it's smaller than a goat. He doesn't sacrifice, don't sacrifice anything. I thought but you were I mean, a fucking he, pagan. Yeah, no, but there's different he, kinds he of pagan out there, wait. homie. It oh, dude, glitch. so, okay, so you're like a non-denominational non pagan. No, I just think that there's different ways to get big power than fucking sacrificing things. But yeah, sure, we'll go with that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to sacrifice you in your fucking living room alongside the goat. Oh, that's fine. Alongside you got to bring it back to life, though. Hey, hey, violating my only rule I have in my house is sacrificing things. Hold up. What if there's? What if it's a really big goddamn goat? What if it's actually just a large roach? Are there a lot of those in Mark's house? One large roach. I don't know. Uh, do you have uh, only only weed roaches, but yeah, they're pretty big. Dang. All right, I, I'll, I can sacrifice there. one of those. <laughs> little, uh, I can I can fucking work, burn dude. that on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> and inhale it. We can we can burn that at the sacrificial altar. I I will be happy to help you with that. that. I, we will construct the perfect altar, and we will perfect for for burning the uh the medicinal herbs. Well, we can, the, we can handle that. Why. We but we can sacrifice the plant all day or a day. Is uh. Some guy named Self Surgery is telling you to go swallow your uh, your pride. I, I know um, he is. That's because self surgery is a piece of shit. Uh, he, he knows that. We all know it. If you know self surgery, you know he's an awful person and uh, he's full of lies and slander. <laughs> <sighs> no, it's you know what? Know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go on the opposite side. I've seen a couple oh, of his messages here in the chat, and he is delightful. No, actually, he's a great fucking guy. He's fa he's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's had my he's had my back throughout all of this shit. It's, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, actually, that's like the that's like the coolest thing about doing this so far. Like, not even like getting any kind of money whatsoever. It's just the number of people who've been like, dude, you know, if I could help you, I would. And I feel like shit because I can't right now. And I'm like, dude, the fact that you're just retweeting and supporting, I mean, that that alone is pretty fucking. And you know, I sound trite as shit, but that alone is pretty powerful. You know what I mean? Like, I actually sat there. And now, admittedly, I've only had like four or five people donate. But I've gone and like written out little like you know, like little thank you messages that to each and every one, not just copy pasted it because I'm just surprised anybody sent me anything at this point. Hey, um, um message me the link real quick. Uh, your, sure. Your thing. Everybody, please go go throw a dollar. Help this guy. He's gonna be fucking homeless. His families are Dick Christians, and uh, Dictions. Uh, uh, Dictions. <laughs> Right. Fucking dictions all over the place. We need to get this guy an apartment for cheap. Um, I don't know what state you're in, Massachusetts. and I don't want to dox you or anything. But here's no, a little. It's okay, I, I said it in my goddamn apartment. Midwest, bro. It's the cheap. It's so much cheaper to live out here than it is on the coast. I don't know where you're at, but if we're trying to get you fourteen hundred bucks a month for some studio fucking apartment in fucking Jersey, that ain't gonna work very long. You need to go to the Midwest, <laughs> get a fucking one bedroom for four fifty a fucking month, bro. And uh <laughs> oh, where are you I, going about I used to, no I he's he's talking about the Midwest. I used to live in Nebraska way back in the day. And oh, that's ne where I am bro. In Nebraska I'm, in Nebraska I lived in out in Papillion. Um I lived there for like five dude, years. I'm like fucking two miles from Papillion, dude. Guys, what? I'm in Omaha. <laughs> stop, stop getting closer to nailing down where you live. I'm just. We're having, oh, dude, we're I'm, having moving a... in, I'm moving in like less than a week. So and, uh... and I used to live there like years ago, like back in 2010. I lived out there, um, and before that, I lived there for a number of. I lived out in in 2010. I was only there for like six months, and then 
I lived there for like five years from like 2002 to 2007 or so. Well, this uh, Jordan 250 in the chat says, I rent a five a month. I live in any. That's the whole thing. It's fucking Nebraska, man. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, the fucking Midwest. I just any. (laughs) No, Nebraska. I'm only going to Florida for the winter, dude. I'm coming back to the Midwest once it gets warmer out here in the works back. Uh, uh, Florida is a, is a, uh, is I'm going down there for work because it's warm down there versus cold up here. Correctly outraged, just accuse me of wrong think, and I, I I should apologize. You're right. That's it's a criminal thought process, and I need to get right with the SJW gods. Uh, I'm gonna go watch a lot of Christy Winters now, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, um, nobody nobody fucking there. laughs. Stay away from that shit. Stay out. <laughs> nobody of nobody fucking awesome. laughed at all. Awesome. <laughs> But dude, I'm telling you, I don't know where you're at, but Midwest is so much cheaper to live. If I if I could afford to relocate right now, I would have been there in a fucking heartbeat. I, I've talked about it. The other problem is that like I've got a real solid girlfriend here, and she's like, I I am not leaving my family. How solid? Behind. Like 300 pounds solid? Uh, yeah, like oh, like four. I'm the only one. And she looks like I'm, Trippy. I'm it's it's fucking one. fantastic. Um, I'm the only one that had 350. So Trippy, but with a bigger beard and dick. Trippy with a bigger beard, a uh, bigger dick, and much more solid tits. Uh, basically, it's like Brockus, but sexy. Mine are floppy. Yeah, it's like Brockus it's like Brockus, but sexy. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, you know, and Brockus is Brockus is a real, real sexy goblin of a man right there. Oh yeah, it, I mean Lord. that's the difference between bear hunting and hunting bears. <laughs> He's a goblin. <laughs> yeah, he is. Well, have you seen him? That's not an orc. All right, orcs don't have man buns. Let's be realistic here. That's it's that's a, a goblin it's, trait. Um, oh a yeah, that's right. it is a man I've bun. never seen Brock his man has a man bun. It's sweaty and it's all Brock is no it's sweaty. People finger it. I mean, it's just it's <laughs> awkward, you know. Like people walk by and they just put his finger right in there. <laughs> of course they do. His man bun and shit. Literally a and pussy he, on a man. And he just he just shudders too. He's like, oh yeah. And it's just oh, it's it's just it's gross to watch. You should oh, never. Of course have they seen. finger his man bun. It's the man version of a vagina. I saw it one time and it sickened me. I couldn't eat for at least an hour. It was awful. Oh, that was a, oh yeah, hour, hour works. It's like I mean, it's like seeing Lena Dunham naked surprisingly. That just happened too. Like Don't she just like, shocked and you have to fucking just released her stuff. naked selfies. It's like it, I don't even know why you would do that as a person. Like, no, it's a fucking man bun, Brock, as you fuck off. If you think you're that big and bad and you want to defend your fingerable man buns, then you jump on this fucking stream and talk. Brock, is there are only two acceptable haircuts, man? Crew cut or high and tight, bro? Fucking, that's all there is. Look, I Anything cut my own hair. Fucking SJW, bro. I cut my own hair, and the only haircut I know how to do is a fucking screaming eagle. So every time I cut my hair, I look like I just got out of prison or I just went to join the army, one or the other. Exactly. I mean, man. It's... you got to keep it tight and high clean. High and tight? High and tight sounds like what he's got, the man bun. No, no. High and tight is when you shave, have it shaved real, real, like, damn near skin on the sides. And then it's a high fade up towards the top where it's also usually real short, like a like a two yeah. max. Oh, there you go. Soul surgery said it. That's what I meant. It's a top nut. A Rock top? What is he? He's a nut. fucking samurai? Yeah, yeah well, seriously, you're from nut. ancient Japan. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Brockus says, I can't right now. Do you guys know why Brockus can't right now? He's probably because naked he smoking a cigarette. Because he's playing fucking WoW. No, he's naked smoking a cigarette. He might be doing that too, but he's playing WoW. That's why he can't right now. Because he's on some fucking raid. Because he's out there sitting there going, ah, oh, my fucking, my fucking dark orc death hunter dick is so hard right now for this raid. Dude, oh, oh. Random one drops. Dude just, I mean, he, just he, pretend your top knot, your fucking top knot is a 40 man boss. And uh, <laughs> you gotta fucking raid the shit out of it. And if you don't get it right the first time, you just respawn and keep going. Oh no, he's raiding it all right. He's raiding with his fucking fingers. He's just like, ah, he's play- dude. He's playing while wow while he's role playing with some person that says that they're a chick. He fucking fingers his own man bun. You fucking. And he's stick- yeah. He's like, oh, you want me to finger myself? And he just sticks his finger through his top knot. He says, he says, he's like, I can't find his fucking headphones and mic. He says he can't find his headphones and his mic. They're in your fucking underpants where you and throw them. After- what do you mean you don't RP? You don't RP. Bullshit. You play <laughs> WoW, motherfucker. Don't even try to play this fucking game with us. I don't role play. You probably write nuzzle in your fucking texts. Seriously, you're an orc on YouTube, dude. 
Like, and this, um, and I I got no shame because I do fucking character streams. I do tabletop role playing. I mean, I'm not about to be like, oh, you role play too. You're damn right, but I don't fucking hide it behind WoW and my fucking man bun. Me me too. Why get defensive? I I lost literally two years of my life playing World of Warcraft. When it first came out, I did, I worked, I slept, and I played World of Warcraft. And that was my life. And I look back on that with pity, but um, yes, that was my life back in the day. Like, okay, I'll, I'll be honest. The big reason I didn't get into WoW, uh, there's two big reasons. One, I don't like massively multiplayer. I like, I don't like enough people to get into that kind of shit. And two, that shit costs money every month. That uh, really good friend. Do, of yours, do I look here? like I? Do I look like I have money? I'm doing a GoFundMe because I'm about to be homeless. I don't have the money it. for that shit. The <laughs> only reason I worked was to pay for WoW. That's a fucking problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't dope. have I didn't have rent at the time. I was in high school. I didn't have rent at the time. Fucking, uh, oh, actually, no, sorry. This was after college. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, very and Finley. But, uh, I was, me and a friend were living together in this free place. Neither of us paid rent. So my money went towards weed and World of Warcraft. That's why I had a job, was to pay for weed and World of Warcraft. Man, I can understand the weed part to an extent, but not the, not the paying for WoW. Like that, I do pity you for that. Like, you have my, you have, my heart goes out to you, sir. It, uh, right. You should, no, no, no. You should, you should work mean, hard I, to get into those. I was deep into the nerds back then. I was like, deep, like deep. I, I like, I like D and like Warhammer forty k and shit like that. But like, I don't buy books or anything. I just PDF all that shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I'm not paying for anything. The only thing I'm quote unquote paying for is just space on my hard drive, and that's what flash drives are for. Right. But, uh, but, but I also, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I'm a big uh, fan of the idea that if you like something, you'll give some money towards it. True. To true. The creators of that thing. So like, so, I do have hard copies of all the Warhammer 40 K, uh, the major core cool rule books, um, because I'm a huge yeah. fan of that series, but yeah. the supplement guides, nah, it's all PDF. Uh, cause I'm but, not spending $70 also, for a fucking supplement. I do want to say that standard is subjective because, like, I have no problem watching movies for free and shit like that online. Yep. But if a movie really captures my attention and I want to go see it in the theaters, I'll go pay money and see it in the theater. I saw and if, both of the if, Deadpool's um, in the theater. If I don't go see a mo- movie in the theater and it passes me by, maybe it should have been a better fucking movie and attracted no, my attention. I, saw that. I didn't get a chance to see Deadpool 2 in theater. Um, I'll be, I'll go buy it as soon as it comes out because I know it's. Gonna I saw be worth fucking my time. Fate of the Furious in theaters. That um, movie was shit. Do you know what? Do you know what movie I'm gonna see as soon as it fucking hits? Like, if I can see it day one, I will. Like, if I have to like sell parts of my ass to get to it. What um, is it? Fucking Venom. Oh really? Oh my yeah, god! No, I hope that movie does well. Don't but I don't I'm a Tom Hardy fan, bro. I'm not a big Tom Hardy fan. I, 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 I don't hate Tom Hardy. But the previews have me so fucking stoked. And here's the thing: I I was I've been a Venom value. fan since like the beginning. I loved Venom since the very beginning, and then they did something in Spider Man Three that made them just unfucking forgivable. As they, far as they I put heard. fucking Eric Foreman as fucking. It wasn't Venom. even that. Like it wasn't even that that bothered me the most. It was that they took Venom, and then they like said, "Fuck Venom, we're mask. just gonna we're just gonna give Carnage a black skin, and we're gonna Carnage to a bitch instead of to a serial killer." And they were going to make them sound like bitches the whole fucking time. And it was no, 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 no. They just so never fucking awful. And and this movie already looks like it's just going to fix everything. There is so. no storyline that got me more into the comic book world than Maximum Carnage. I had every issue of that back in the day. It was it is still, in my opinion, the best comic book story I've ever read. <sighs> I fucking love Maximum Carnage. Carnage is such a sick here, such a sick villain. The thing I loved most about Venom was that yeah, he was a villain, but later on he goes full blown antihero. Uh and yeah, there's uh, a there's, there's a, a couple Venom, of, a couple not even Agent Venom. I'm just talking about the fact that for a while, both as Mac Gargan and as Eddie Brock, he wasn't really a bad guy. He just did like he helped out Spider Man on a ridiculous number of occasions. Like uh, it, like in. Uh, Maximum Carnage. Spider-Man Carnage off left and right. Up with a bunch of other people. And fucking... um, but on the same token, like, you know, instead of like web slinging bad guys to walls and shit, Venom just eats them. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's he's clearly not a good guy, but he also is like, you know, I'm, I'm doing this because it's it's the right thing. I don't like saying that. Let's just go kill people. 
I, I thought he was such a f- cool fucking character. Plus, he was he was everything I wasn't as a as a child, which was he was big and strong and powerful and tough, and he did whatever the fuck he wanted, and he ate people, which was everything I couldn't do as a scrawny fucking twelve year old. <laughs> that says a lot about you, actually, because uh, most scrawny twelve year olds would say that that's why they looked up to Spider Man. <laughs> nah, man, Spider Man was cool. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, Venom just eat a bunch of fucking. Thanks. I mean, it's, Spider-Man's cool and all, but Venom was just like, just like raw, fucking, unbridled, animalistic, ferocious power. And I was just like, if I gotta be somebody in the superhero world, right? That's who I'm gonna be. And it's those oh. characters that become the most popular. It's the Venoms, hey the Wolverines, the fucking, hey I mean, the ones that are channel. just like, don't give a fuck. Total. Oh, like, fuck my fucking headphones. headphones. In fuck in you guys. I hate everyone in hey, here. Fuck you, you man, we- man bun wearing goblinoid prick Jesus face. Shit, fuck you. You, fucking, you fuck goddamn. You. I can't tell what race you are, black motherfucker. It's a white person, you piece of shit, you racist, bigoted, misogynistic fuckbag. That's right. I'm so, going to uh, cut your goddamn man bun off and show it to everybody like a fucking war trophy. Bro, because you got to quit running to the aid of every girl who shows you affection on the internet. No, let, let, let me put it to you this way. I, I After that bullshit, because things were taken out of context, and, and I did really come off as a fucking pissy little bitch in the fucking chat. Sorry about that. I've been frustrated not finding my goddamn headphones. And it turns what out my, my nephew stole them, apparently, I, I guess. Um, but uh, no, look, what had happened was actually hypocritical, because... She was being made fun of by fucking Outlaw in the chat. When she left, she started making fun of Outlaw. I'm not saying what you said, Trippy, was wrong because you yeah. pointed out that it did sound pr- it was pretty fucking stupid to leave and then talk shit in the chat. That is, I'm not gonna fucking lie about that. You weren't wrong, Trippy. Well, yeah, the that's time, the only the thing you, that I had a problem with. Is fair enough, but like, what how you reacted was actually hypocritical. I'm just saying because you basically well, allowed. Point? You out, you allowed Outlaw to do it, but you didn't allow Leaf to do it. That's how it's hypocritical, or at least a double standard. However, whatever. Rockets, Trippy, you were fucking hypocritical there. She I has the link. Realized she what was going on in. until no, later. She could have come no, I, in I, any I, moment. I, I understand. Because well, I'm, I'm, I'm clearly not out trash. when she did it. Because I'm clearly not trash. It was all, she had the. It was also dumb for her to basically do that. That was extremely petty of her. Leaf, you should know better than to do shit like that. But then again, I'm. I give Leaf way too much leeway. Like I gave Opal way too much leeway. They're fucking young. All right, all right Outlaw. Brackets. Outlaw. Wait, hold, hold, hold on. I want to say one thing real quick. Is I also think that Trippy, um, if the roles were reversed and uh, it was. Oh Outlaw my God! Kid, are we still on. fucking Let talking fucking about finish. this? Let me fucking finish. If it was Outlaw in the chat that uh, had, or if it was Outlaw on the stream that had left right before Leaf came on, you would have still have done the same thing. I'm trying to defend you a little bit. Is that it wasn't about the person. Yeah, I would have done that for Outlaw too. The, the, <laughs> the timing of what happened. Okay, okay my, my, I got a real easy question though. Because I'm, I'm clearly not tracking with something at all right now. If Leaf had the link to come back in and she refused to come back in, how is Trippy being hypocritical or double standard? Yeah, I don't, I'm not kidding. She, had the, she had the opportunity to come in whenever she fucking wanted to. On the you other hand, that, Outlaw I, I said what she, she was... said from chat without a link. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was only hypocritical in how he reacted, not it like was... uh, his actions. It was no, him laughing at Outlaw. It on the right way. How is it... to Leaf. Can we okay. start from the beginning? Yeah. No. I called Never. Leaf. A hole. <laughs> That's all. What a fucking <laughs> insult! Happened. Yeah, it's you fucking like she, oh, shit. Yeah. No, I, I, I got you. You call her a hole. She called you worthless and said, "Go fuck a cow." No, okay. she said hole from the chat. And then what did Leaf do when she was still in the party here or in the hangout? Rather, sorry, oh, playing Xbox. I, I wasn't paying attention. I burgers were ready, so I was I was eating yeah. for most of it. So then, who gives a fuck? What are we That's yelling what about? Saying. We're not yelling about anything. It's the constraint. I just wanted to know what I did wrong. So, like, you know. Uh, Trippy, you did everything wrong. You're the reason Trippy, none of it happened. Trippy, hey. I know what you did wrong. I know what you did wrong. And it's you, uh, I didn't suck you, made, you made eyes at Brox's new new lady love. Uh, <laughs> and because of that, he has to fucking duel you at dawn now, man buns only. 
Oh, so you have to grow a fucking man button. Wait, wait, tri Trip, have you been putting wait, moves on it? Wait, are we talking about a man button duel? Are we talking about night. defending Milady's honor again, bro? Oh, yeah. No, there's no, some fucking fedora tipping not. happening right now. Oh, my God. Brockus, are you fucking serious? Is that Brockus, why you're man. calling me Just out? Fucking, what? Just fucking no. Get that fedora I, and was, go. I was pointing <laughs> out that it was <laughs> hypocritical. I'm pointing out that it was a double standard. And for wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Cool. Shut the fuck up. Let me explain. <laughs> Boy, I will snatch your fucking wig off so fucking fast. Oh boy. It's a man bun, not a wig. If you want to fucking hear my side and my uh -huh. my explanation for this, then shush. Shush. Basically, <gasps> you from the chat were talking shit on Leaf. Leaf uh -huh. eventually leaves. You get the link. You come on. She does the exact same thing to you. Again, not saying that Trippy was wrong in what he said. Obviously, that was very petty. That was very fucking stupid. That was very dumb. Okay? But I'm pointing out the fact that suddenly there was a problem with Leaf doing it, even though she had the link, that Leaf did it, and suddenly you guys had a problem with it. Hold up. All of a sudden, it's not okay for suddenly. Leaf to do it, but it not was okay suddenly. for Alcohol. Because I was watching the whole stream, though. I was watching the whole damn stream, and nobody had a real problem with it. In fact, most people were laughing and talking shit on everybody. We called Mark a faggot like that's eight times. That's what I expected, and I literally and no, that's, said. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Quota for the day on that. My it's only... not my hold on. It's not my fault. Hold, hold the hold didn't say anything back to me. No, well, look, she needs it's... to learn how to fuck, call people faggots back. If, if people are That's calling you a faggot, call them a faggot. Yeah, you back. fucking faggot. This is the internet. I'm That's just I'm pointing saying. out that that was actually pretty fucking hypocritical of you it's guys. Not hypocritical it's not hypocritical because it's saying one she, thing and doing something completely different. No, Suddenly it's, it's okay had... for you to go do it, but it's not okay for her to do it. I was literally yelling at another fucking asshole that? about this the other it's day. It's fine for her to do it, but if she's going to do it, why didn't she do it in person? She had to go into the chat to start talking Fuck shit. Fucking fine, though. I, I, well, I didn't up. have a I, link. I, okay. I do have a valid point here, I think. And that's that uh, this isn't the first time that that's happened. Yeah, she likes to start fucking shit. Sorry, Leaf seems like the kind of person. Trippy sucks the most dick out of all of us. No, no, no. Trippy Leaf sucks more than dick than anybody I fucking know. Leaf is fine with controversy as long as she's the one who created it. Trippy, we're talking about you sucking and dick, man. We're on the new subject now. It's fine. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, self-surgery has it sit there, in the chat. Mm -hmm. This situation is gayer than Outlaw Bear Dog. Man, that's yeah, fucking gay. That's fucking gay. This situation is gayer than Outlaw Bear Dog. Outlaw Bear Dog is pretty fucking gay unless it comes to K-pop uh, groups. It, no, it's 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 I was, if I was sitting in the chat and I said, hey, Baracus, you're a fat piece of shit. I want to fight you. And you sent me a I'll link. Fight you. I come into here. I fucking I did that. And, no, you know, I did that. And Brockus refused to fucking fight me. I did it on oh, fucking Twitter. Oh, oh, I called him out twice. Romance. because he likes you so much. I was in the middle of some shit. He was fucking raiding on wild and figuring a sweaty man bun. <laughs> it's a top knot. God. I don't give a fuck. I want to know how Brock is in the, the Bramage is going. It's not. It's not a thing. It yes, is it is. Not. It is uh, definitely. You know, a it's, thing. it's, it's sort of there a thing, so it's like legitimately a thing now. Is there a gay uh, romance right. between you and Samaj? What did I miss? Oh, there is no thing about that. You, I regret Facebook. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a cunch stream tonight? Did you just say yeah, you regretted face yeah, It's not till 11. We got a while. What's what about that? Samaj? He just said that he regrets face sitting Samaj. Hey, oh. Well, what's on Samaj? <laughs> that hey, should be directed. Hey, Here's hey, hey, the question: Did you did you sit on his face? He sit on yours. I'm hold guessing on he sat on face. yours. And hold, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, really? Hold on. Hey, I, I was asking on some a of the best, uh, Twitter art I've seen. Shut the fuck up for a second. Outlaw was asking something. She said, "What's the show on tonight?" The the other cunt stream. Oh, I have no fucking idea. What are you gonna show for the goddamn cunt Are you kidding? I was not given any information about what the cunt stream is going to be. It's just a regular cunt stream. I don't know what the topic is supposed to be. We could talk about fucking anything we got. Is Schmeckle going to be on? Uh, no. Schmeckle no. is uh, out for the day. Uh, I'm running basically both shows today. Yeah, uh, self-surgery. So oh, okay. So it's, so it's double gay now. Self-surgery yeah. says, I mean, there's a cunt stream tonight. There's definitely a can't stream. There is a can't stream on almost every night. Self-surgery. Oh, there is super duper, duper a fucking and, can't stream. On. And I, I resent that. I, I approve of Brock is hosting shit. Resent or resemble? Oh, there's no problem with Brock is hosting stuff. It just, it sucks that he can't get anything out of the person who owns the channel. Can you suck his dick any harder, dude? 
Yeah, no, no, he's it. fine. He's Who fine hosting. That's what I'm saying. Oh, baby, Brock Brock can host. Shaft. But he could use a bit of help from the guy who's supposed to be running the channel. Yeah, work it. Brock has had no idea we were supposed to be doing this stream Stuck until he woke down. up. Well, neither I, did we. I woke up to messages telling me, hey, you got to run uh, Cringe and, and Cunt Stream tonight. I'm like, Stroke oh, those balls. Okay. Sure. I'll do I mean, that. that. Yeah, that sort of thing. That should have been handled in messages before tonight. That way we would have had a fucking topic. I got a bone to pick with Schmeckle. I'm going to have to actually get a hold of him and, and talk to him one on one. Well, he's out of town or some shit. I don't mean right now. I mean, when right. he gets a chance. And, uh, yeah, I just got a few things that we need to talk about. I mean, you, got, things... you got Go something ahead, you got to bring up between the two of you. What, why yeah, do I feel like Trippy's going to try to fucking murder Speckle? It's, uh, it's one of them yeah, kind of Let's, let's have a nice gonna... conversation over here and then, like, just well, fuck. Uh, it, but... Well, power struggle going on. Nice. Yeah, you should know by now that most of the time that I yell at somebody, it's live. Trippy right, doesn't yeah. like to have any weird connotations about his actions. He wants people to know he's up front, out in the open. You know what I'm saying? I really rather. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Brock is right almost there, I'm open for everyone to push into your blind. Exactly. Blocks. Exactly. <laughs> no, nothing behind closed doors. Did you say you're gonna push thumbs into my eyes until I'm blind? <laughs> fucking blind you with this fucking. Thumb. Are you gonna, okay, Scooby? He's what gonna send. Yeah, we're gonna go with Psycho so Club after you. On this. I'm gonna we send a letter to style. Disney about you. I'm gonna fucking blacklist <laughs> you, your fucking buddies. I'm gonna make sure that the cunt stream never gets its own cartoon. Let me, let me, no, 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 no. guys, guys, you're doing it wrong. It's like this. It's like this. Fucking Brockus. I'm gonna make sure the cunt stream never gets a fucking thing out of you. Nothing ever, nothing ever again. They're gonna go to Hollywood and not get fucking shit. You understand me? Not a fucking thing. Not a fucking yeah, thing. This is you're done. Motherfuckers. You're done in this industry. You're done. You're fucking done. You're fucking done. <laughs> Son, fuck. And, and get the get, fuck out of here. Son, my good side after this. You're going to have a fucking problem because I'm not going to reply to you. I'm going to fucking go now. Fuck it. Fuck this shit. That's how it was, man. <laughs> fucking, fuck that I fucking man it. button. So fuck I don't it. see the interaction, son. Okay. Fucking, I, I saw some of the interaction between his AP and Scooby, and AP just shut him the fuck down. Uh, look, all I, all, I know, all I know about that is that AP <laughs> jumped into that cunt stream one night and Brock is just trying real hard to keep things going. I got to give him props mm -hmm. for that, okay? Well, he like, was waiting. He was giving he, AP he was try spot, yeah, so. Nah, he was, he was trying real hard to keep, like, shit together. And AP was I just like, no, fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck him. Fuck your everything you stand for. It. I hope you get gates. I hope you die. And I was like, damn. Gades. AP's, the best part AP's of that. angry. The fucking <laughs> best part of that was AP would be like, all right, handle your news. Oh, yeah, I got something else to say, like, right as somebody talked. <laughs> that was a I lot of fun purpose. It was, it was a very funny fucking stream. It was. Like, it was I, cool. We'll give you news and weird drama at the same time. I almost felt bad for you, Brockus, but then I realized you had a big fucking sweaty man put on top of your fucking goblin head, and I was like, nah, fuck that. Keep I'm bringing that up. I'm going to knock that fucking no. black out of your goddamn face. Dude. There's no Dude, black in me, you fucking bitch. I don't suck Dude. black dick. Brock, oh, Brock, yeah. Brock, you know I'm on your side. You know I love I you. Swear to God, the, the man bun cancels so out the beard and and more and more. It cancels out the beard and more. You so Brockus be really has a man bun. He's got no, a fucking so man bun. My hair is sweaty. Really what did you uh, tell after I get out of a fucking shower and it curls rod. the fuck up like crazy? It's, it's this sweaty rod. goddamn man bun. He likes people to fucking finger as they walk by. Oh my I, I God. can't help it. My fucking. Someone my, send to oh. Dunt the link. No. Oh. <laughs> Look, it, it, if you want to soak hey, up the sweat on the back of your neck, just it use a is, towel. Dude. It, it's about uh, 37 minutes before the next country. Right. Uh, we oh, should God. Probably okay. start okay. Uh, strapping yeah. this thing down. And uh, I want to say. Strapping it down with who? Showed up. Strap this dirt. Strapping it to who? who, who you We're gonna strap it down to Are your you ass. Are you strapping it to Brockus? Are you strapping it to Brockus? Everybody knows you strapping it to Brockus. He's gonna hey, strap Mike. it on Brockus. Oh. I'm, strapping, I'm strapping it on oh. for Brockus. Oh, my kinks are weird. They He's might getting the double dick. He likes to wear a strap on over his penis so that the he ladies likes have the, something they can feel. Bad ah, dragon you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, Brock is wearing a uh, top. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dildo on top. You're a fucking outlaw right now. It's just, we have it's to take. We have to. We have to give a moment of peace for outlaw. Trip this is the fucking outlaw bear dog show all of a sudden. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
the only show on the fucking internet gayer than that. Gayer than I don't Rogers. think anyone's ever made Outlaw laugh as fucking hard <laughs> as that. Well, that's because there's no funnier concept than you getting strap on fucked by other people. No, no, hey, 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 I said that he put his strap on. Business. I said he put a strap on over his penis so that the ladies have something to feel, and then <laughs> I just heard Outlaw <laughs> dying. <laughs> Outlaw, go go smoke something. Oh no, you yeah, assholes keep did. talking over me, so I decided to laugh louder. <sighs> we were okay with that. It was it was a good moment. We all had a good time doing it. You yeah, know? I had a good time. I came. <sighs> That's what's important. Uh we need you... to shut this shit down for the next one. Yeah, we do. On the other uh, hand, I just have um... one thing to say is that Brockus, um, the only reason your hair should be longer than your beard is if you're in ZZ Top. That is the only fucking reason. Outlaw Bear Dog yeah. likes to put a pocket yeah. pussy in her own pussy. So she can get double fingered. Double the pleasure. Mm -hmm. Double the sensation. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're all down coming. so I could get the other one started. End it. End it. Just end it. End it. Fucking kill them all. End it. Fucking kill them all. Thank you, Go thank thank you Outlaw Beard Dog. Thank you. Uh, um, donate to Anthony. It's Bear here. Dog, not Beer Dog. Bear. Bear. Beer, 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 dogs are way better than bear dogs. You know it's bear, dude. You don't. Just call me. I know beer dogs too easy. Grill on the fucking grill in the summer and shit. Fucking beer dogs. I swear to God, Brock is just end it. It doesn't even have the word beer in it.